Hi, Bob Summers here. And over the course of this video, I'm going to show you four really great internet marketing techniques that you can use to promote your own products and services. Now, before I get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for helping make Recognized Expert the most popular internet marketing show for our professionals on the internet. There's hundreds of shows and all kinds of wonderful forums to participate in. And if you haven't been here in a while, we look forward to seeing you back here again. All right, let's take a look at what a friend of mine, Roy Lance, has done with his website in order to create uh, the ability to sell his product and service. Now, Roy's a professional speaker 12 months out of the year. For two months out of the year, he portrays Charles Dickens. So he plays Charles Dickens live at events. He also created an audio book and an MP3 where he reads A Christmas Carol. So it's a pretty wonderful product. Now, let me show you four of the things Roy has done to help promote his uh, products and his services. And again, you can do the same. Now, to start with, uh, one of the things I encouraged Roy to do was to create a separate website for his product because it is so very different from his public speaking where he speaks on customer service and sales, etc. And that's really important that you do that as well. You don't want to be selling a lot of different products and services on one website. If you have something that's unique and a little special, create your own website or blog for that. And it's easy to do, by the way. You can create a blogger blog or a WordPress blog, or you can set up your own free website with a Weebly website. And, and you can learn how to do all of those things on Recognized Expert, by the way. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now, another thing I want to show you that Roy did, which is really great, he created a little excerpt that you can listen to what he does. Now, if you have any way of showing off what it is you do, whether it's a, an audio or a video, uh, to give people a taste of what it is you do, it will dramatically increase your conversion rate. So let me just click on this for a minute. Whoops. And you can listen to what uh, Roy's done here. Stave one, Molly's ghost. All right, let me go ahead and stop right there. And you can see that this little demonstration gives you an idea of what it is that, uh, that Roy does. So if you have the ability to demonstrate what you do, do that on your website. Let me show you something else. This is called Link Bait. Uh, we helped Roy create something here, which is a little trivia test for Charles Dickens. Now remember, he's trying to attract people interested in Charles Dickens and A Christmas Carol. That's his target market. So he's created Link Bait that people like that would find interesting. Now what Link Bait is, it's something that you create on your own website or blog that other people want to link to. So again, your goal is to get hundreds if not thousands of people linking to interesting content. So here's what Roy did. He has a Charles Dickens trivia uh, test. So for example, question number one, how long did it take Dickens to write A Christmas Carol? 31 days, six weeks, four months, or one and a half years? Now, I don't know the answer. I'm going to put six weeks in, etc. And then you can go on through question two through ten. And when you're finished, uh, Roy will tell you just how much of a Dickens expert you are. And there's already lots of people linking to this. And it's a wonderful piece of link bait. All right, now let me show you another thing. This is a form of reciprocity. This is one of my favorites. Uh, there are Charles Dickens celebrations taking place all over the country around Christmas time. So Roy is trying to sell his audiobook and his performance at all of these different festivals. So rather than just call the people that are running these festivals and say, hey, my name's Roy Lance, I play Charles Dickens, I'd like to come down and do this for you, in what he's done instead is created something to help promote their festival first so that the people know him, like him, and trust him before he suggests that he come down and speak or they buy his audiobook. So let's just click on a Dickens festival and let me show you this. Here are all the celebrations taking place all over the country that Roy has put on his own website. So if I just click on this one, the Riverside Dickens Festival, you can see in just a minute, here's a link to the uh, the Riverside Dickens Festival. So again, what Roy has done, he's gone to every one of these festivals, said, hey, I want to promote your festival on my website. And by the way, you know, this is what I do for a living if you're interested in my audiobook. And believe me, people are many, many more times receptive uh, to the idea of, of using Roy to speak and perform and to buy his books uh, after he's done something for them. So think about that. How can you sell your your uh, the products and services of the people that you're trying to sell to? How can you do it on your website? It doesn't take any time. It costs nothing. And it's great, great goodwill. 
All right, let me just jump over to YouTube now. This is wonderful. One of the things we suggested that Roy do was use video marketing because he, uh, the, being Charles Dickens is wonderful. So Roy created eight vignettes, and here I am over at um, YouTube. Now, one of the things that is important to do is when you create a video vignette, your goal is to get it out on all of the video sites, YouTube, Dailymotion, Rever, all of them, and your job is to drive people back to your website. So you want to have a call to action in the description bringing people back to your website, ultimately to, uh, you know, to purchase products and services. So in this case, I'm going to do a search for A Christmas Carol Reading, which is Roy's CD, and click on Search. And I want you to notice a couple of things. The first video that comes up is Roy Lance, A Christmas Carol Reading, uh, entitled Marley Was Dead. Now, what's interesting is most of the YouTube, which is where most people view videos, uh, it shows by most recent. That's generally the default mode people have. What Show me the most recent video. So Roy's created eight of these videos, which I'll show you in a minute, but he's only going to put one up at a time. He only wants to put one up so that he stays at the top for most recent. Now, when somebody comes in and puts another video above him uh, in his category, a Christmas Carol or Charles Dickens or a Christmas Carol reading, he'll pay attention to that, and then he'll put up his second video so he's always in the top. And as we scroll down, you can see there's literally hundreds of these videos uh, about a Christmas Carol reading, and they go on and on and on. But what Roy wants to do, particularly during the Christmas and uh, holidays, is he wants to make sure he stays in the top spot. Well, let's click on this video, and I'll show you some really cool things Roy's done here. Now, to start with, let's just hit the pause button. You can see that he's got a Christmas Carol performance reading with Roy Lance, so he has a chance to demonstrate, once again, not just on his website, but out on the Internet, what it is he does for a living. Uh, now, the only other thing I would have done is I would have put my... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, website address at the bottom down here. Now, if we go to the very end, well, let's just play a little bit of this. I'll show you what Roy does. It's really Wally neat. was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Now, isn't that cool? Now, the goal here is at the end of this video, whether you do it with text or you actually speak it, you want to drive people back to your website. Now, if that doesn't work, let me show you what else Roy has done. Over here on the top right, you see where there's something that says more information. Now, I'm going to encourage Roy to put his Charles Dickens picture here, by the way. But if you click on more information, you'll see um, a description of what this video is about. And it starts with a clickable link that leads you right back to Roy's website. Now, most people don't know to do this. So if you're uploading videos to YouTube, particularly, you want to start with the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then your address, which makes this a clickable link. And then you'll notice Roy has a call to action. So Marley is dead in the reading of A Christmas Carol by Roy Lance. Go to this clickable link to take a Christmas Carol trivia quiz. So in Roy's video, he directs people back to the website in the video. He has a call to action in the video. And again, the goal is to get people back to that site where they can hire him or buy his uh, audio book and his MP3. All right, so ultimately, let's take a look at this. What is it we're trying to do? Four things. One, and maybe five. One, you want to create a website that's exclusively for the product or service you offer. That positions you as the authority in that niche. Two, you want uh, the ability to demonstrate what it is you do, whether it's audio or video. You want to show that off on your website and also off of your website. Three, you want to have link bait. You want to have a reason people are linking to your website. Now, one of the great ways to do that is go to StumbleUpon and check out all the really cool things people are doing there to create great content. Four, you want to use this reciprocity where you actually help sell the products and services of the people you're marketing to first and so that they have a much better feeling about you later. And then finally, number five, with video marketing, make sure you do what you do to drive people back to your website. All right, I hope you have found that helpful. And as a professional yourself, these are five of the ways that I know you're going to be able to position yourself as the authority in your field and to help sell your products and services. Now, if we can help you, we have a service called Rent Our Brain. Give us a call. There's directions right below. And if you're really not sure how to get started with all this internet marketing stuff, particularly if you're a professional, give us a call and uh, we can work with you and get you going in the right direction. All right. Thank you and have a great holiday.